see coming down into here it's going to T from either side of the tank it's going to go into a T and then down basically into this overflow here where the socks going to be and then in here where the skimmer is going to be another reactor so I'm also adding something else um, you know there's going to be reactors on here of course <clears throat> and like I said before in, in past past videos with the sump it's not exactly the hottest design out there but you know I purchased this several years ago from Reef Dynamics I got the sump and the skimmer at the same time so you know it's got the old style of just the slit instead of the grates that they have now on the new sumps to keep uh, you know your macroalgae and stuff from flowing over because this is where your return pump goes it's in the center part so basically going to be looking at the overflows are going to come down here tee off go into here be skinned the shit out of reactors in here there's also going to be something else I'm adding which is just a canister filter and before you go no not canister filter they're bad there's nothing going in it except for uh, basically bio um, it's just going to be a uh, live rock or ceramic rings and that's it it's going to be no media as far as uh, flossing or anything anything that's going to be in there building up uh, nitrates and such uh, yeah you know of course eventually it'll build up but the microfauna that will grow inside of that uh, canister will more than likely take care of uh, anything else the main reason why I got it is um, I've had it so <laughs> you know I've I started off a long time ago using canister filters and you know found out they weren't the bees knees for reef tanks because of all the different kind of flossing and stages that you put in canister filters are mainly for fresh water so but with bio all all that's going to be in there is ceramic rings and live rocks so there is going to be really no reason to open it the reason why I'm going to go ahead and throw it on here and add it is because it has a UV sterilizer in it you know it's one of the old marine land uh, um, I think it's no it's JBJ so JBJ um, canister filter I had two of them gave one of them away and kept one forever and just never replaced the uh, the UV sterilizer so I'm just going to use that just for the sun there's going to be nothing going back into the tank from the uh, canister filter it's just going to be circulation basically uh, added to the sump so that this refugium gets the flow that it needs because there's no way to get flow into this refugium on this style sump unless you have another pump in here pumping water into here to flow up and then over out these slates that goes back in and returns to the tank so regardless I gotta put a pump in here to feed the sump or feed the refugium so kill two birds one stone I'm gonna use that canister filter to filter water out of here go through the UV sterilizer it's going to go back into the refugium and then flow over and go back into the return. So I have it. Might as well use it. Um, so yeah, that's another addition I'm adding onto here, which is why I'm keeping, you know, a little bit of gap. I'm going to be one on each side. Um, you know, just to make it easy to get at everything. Um, I'm keeping this side open too, just in case I need to add a chiller onto here. Um, it's starting to get cold again here you know it's uh 